Have you ever wondered why some legendary Pokemon are shiny locked? I have too, and I've always thought it was really stupid, but after doing some more research, I actually kind of understand now, and it kind of makes sense to me more so than it did in the past, I guess. And if you don't know what shiny locking is, it basically means when a specific Pokemon, typically a legendary Pokemon, is unable to be shiny hunted in an authentic way. Also, really quickly guys, I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 10,000 subs for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. So all I have to do to enter that giveaway is like the video, comment down below, letting me know you want to be in the giveaway, stay tuned for future videos, and subscribe to the channel, and then you'll be entered. And then when I actually hit 10,000, I'll be announcing that giveaway winner. Meaning like you can still hack a shiny legendary into whatever game it may be shiny locked in, but that's not an authentic way of getting it because usually these legendary Pokemon can be shiny hunted in different ways that I'll get to later on in this video. So overall, I'd say the main reason is probably for storyline continuity, which kind of makes sense because if it's a if there's a shiny legendary Pokemon that has something to do with the overall main storyline, it wouldn't make sense if you have like the shiny legendary, but then it shows up in cutscenes as a regular Pokemon or the regular version of that legendary Pokemon, I should say. Which I guess you could make the claim or argument like, well, why can't they just change the cutscene to show the shiny Pokemon? Which is true, but I don't think that they had the technology in the past. They probably do now, or maybe they will in the near future, because something that I thought about was like in the Spider-Man game, which is totally not related to Nintendo at all. But in the Spider-Man game, Spider-Man 2, whatever, you can change the skin that Spider-Man is wearing and in any cutscene it actually changes to that skin. Like, the coding lets you have that specific skin, whatever you choose, in the cutscene of the game so it continues the continuity. So hopefully that's something that they could implement into future Pokemon games if they want to have no shiny locked legendaries. I mean, I, I don't know where I stand completely with shiny locking. I feel like I feel like I understand because of continuity purposes, but any other reason other than that, I'm like, well, just let us have fun and shiny hunt. You know what I'm saying? People love shiny hunting. I love watching people shiny hunt. It is... It's so entertaining to me. I don't know why, but shiny hunting is so, so fun. I mean, luckily most Pokemon aren't shiny locked. You could shiny hunt other Pokemon, of course, but I'm specifically talking about legendary Pokemon in mainline games that are shiny locked. Another thing that people say online is that Game Freak wanted to shiny lock a lot of legendary Pokemon to prevent them from being hacked into the game, which I know sounds weird because anyone could just hack in a shiny Pokemon if they know how to, you know, if they know how to do that, of course, but if you have a shiny legendary in a game or at some type of event or at some type of time where that shiny legendary has never been attainable in a legitimate way, it's obviously going to be fake. And some people could be tricked and scanned by like trading something for a legendary shiny that they wanted, even though it's a hacked shiny. And it could also secure the value of that specific shiny Pokemon when it may be released in some type of event or some other method, I guess. So going along with the special events and everything, a lot of Pokemon that were shiny locked were also later able to actually be shiny hunted when there was a specific like event released, which also in a way is a smart decision from Game Freak to shiny lock legendaries because it just drives up the hype of authentic, real, shiny, legendary Pokemon because legendary Pokemon themselves are already super cool, they're super mysterious, and they're always hype. You know what I'm saying? Like people love the legendary Pokemon because they're legendary Pokemon. They're super rare. And there's only, you know, one or several of them in existence, whatever. Well, I guess it depends on the specific legendary Pokemon. But a shiny, like an authentic, real, legal, legitimate, shiny legendary Pokemon is... It just kind of secures that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it secures the coolness factor and the authentic feel. Like, wow, I have a real shiny legendary, not a hacked one. Because sure, you can hack all the shiny Pokemon you want, but they're, they're not going to feel as fulfilling. Like, I've received a few shiny Pokemon that are hacked through global trading or wonder trading, whatever you want to call it. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. It's a shiny, but it's not an authentic shiny. I did a hunt on myself, so I have no purpose for it. And I don't want to use it because it's a hacked shiny Pokemon. A lot of people also say that it's probably for the sake of players. So they don't spend hundreds of hours resetting the game to finally get the shiny. I don't necessarily think that's true because there are moments where these legendary Pokemon are not shiny locked and in like uh different forms of these pokemon in different games if they have nothing to do with the storyline you can sometimes shiny hunt them so as long as they have nothing to do with the game or the storyline i mean 
I completely understand why the legendary Pokemon would be shiny locked. People already dedicate so many hours into shiny hunting already, so if they really wanted to shiny hunt, they're just going to find another Pokemon to shiny hunt. You know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. Shiny hunting is serious business, you know? It's a lengthy process, and one must really be ready for hours and hours of sitting and resetting the game. So, with that being said, I hope that the returning legendaries in the Indigo Disc are not going to be shiny locked, because, because I can't imagine a lot of these legendary Pokemon actually having anything to do with the storyline, besides, like, the new legendary Pokemon, like Terrapagos and whatever, but, like, Zekrom, Reshiram, actually, they may have something to do with the storyline, because Blueberry Academy is based on... The, uh, in the Unova region. I guess we'll see. I hope at least some of the legendary Pokemon that are returning are not shiny locked. So overall, I think the main reason is just to maintain cutscene continuity and to just hold the legitimate feel and authentic feeling of having a real legendary Pokemon that is shiny from an event or some other type of method where, where you may be able to actually get the shiny legendary. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any other reasons that you have thought of or know of that are like confirmed as to why legendary Pokemon are shiny locked, let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.